for Erasmus University to show its appreciation for students that contribute to society in, pos in a positive way with inspiring projects. So please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Theodore Catanicio. Thank you. Thank you so much. President Bale, Rector Paul, Mayor Abu Talib, EUR faculty and staff, and fellow students, I am proud and humbled to be here with you today. It was only three years ago that I was sitting somewhere in this hall. And like many of you today, I was nervous. It was my first day of university. And I remember I had a thousand things on my mind that day, from figuring out where my classes took place to finding a roommate. Uh, in fact, I wanted to get out of this ceremony as soon as possible. <laughs> and I'm assuming some of you feel the same, so I will keep this short. I, I was asked to be here today to talk about my work in Rotterdam, where I helped build a nonprofit school on a mission to give more people the chance to start a new life. But before I do that, and for my last time as a student here at Erasmus University, I want to tell you a story. My father is a role model to me. He was born in a small village at the base of the Carpathian Mountains in the heart of Romania, at the time when the country was run by a communist dictator. He grew up with nothing, having to work the land together with his brothers and sisters, which was the only way to put food on the table for the family. He went from there to be the first person in his village to go to college, and later to obtain a PhD in what has always been his true passion, mathematics. His journey from this basic level of human existence to becoming a successful researcher and accomplishing his dream is a vivid reminder to me that nothing is impossible. And my father was given the chance to try thanks to the kindness of others. And he shared with me a lesson that I will always remember, that no one makes it through life alone. Now, the world my father was born in was in some ways fundamentally different from our world. Today, it is possible to pull out of my pocket a computer that is a thousand times faster than the one that was used to put the first people on the moon. Yet, in many ways, we are still facing all challenges. It was just recently that the UN Refugee Agency reported there are more refugees in the world today than during the Second World War. In the world today, there are more refugees than during the Second World War. And in the past few years, over two million of them reached our shores here in Europe. People who want to start a new life on a continent that has a shortage of close to one million people in the technology industry, an industry notorious for its lack of diversity. At Erasmus University, I learned that it is our responsibility to society to make a difference. I believe that. I believe that despite all of our challenges, many as they may seem, we should fight for a community that gives more people, just like my father, the chance to try to better the world. So together with a good friend and fellow student, Frederick Russler, in the room today, and an incredible team, we imagine a new type of school, a transformative experience built from first principles that would empower refugees, people from low-income backgrounds, and underrepresented minorities to start a new life through a career in the technology industry. Imagine a school that has no teachers, where engineers from the world's biggest technology companies give master classes and are your mentors. A school that has no textbooks, where you learn by doing, by working together with NGOs to build solutions to real world problems, and by joining tech companies while still studying in a one-year digital curriculum that is based and inspired from reality, where students need to give public talks, learn by teaching others, and teamwork is a requirement to succeed. And finally, a school that is tuition-free, with a non-profit business model that is based on the success of the students. At Restart Network, we have built this school. We call it Restart One, the world's first crowdsourced tech school. And it is successful today thanks to this simple belief that as a community, we all share a duty to building people together. Yet I know what some of you might be thinking right now. Hasn't this guy seen the news? There's a war in the Middle East, terrorist attacks in Europe, we are going through a huge climate crisis, and we live in a world where the president of the most powerful nation seems to deny that very fact. Where is the kindness in this world? And to that I must say, maybe so. But we should still try, even when odds seem to be against us. And I believe one thing, that there is 
no better place to start and to try than here in Rotterdam. And I will show you why that is the case. I will ask a question to all of you here, almost a thousand of you, people from all corners of this planet, uh, students, academics, state ambassadors and community leaders, and I ask you to answer this truthfully. If you believe that in this community diversity is our strength, please stand up. If you believe that our differences make us stronger and make our community stronger, please stand up. And if you believe that it is our responsibility to help those who once felt weak become powerful, please stand up and look around you. This is why I am proud and humbled to be part of this community and to be one of you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.